All right, guys. Ooh, looks like eh, that's about good. Um, I have a coil replacement to do in this guy. So I got my spark tester on it. I was looking for spark. So uh, I'm gonna take you along. The holder up here. Okay. This is just a straight up push mower with a bag. Um, I put an ad out there trying to uh, get rid of all my push mower stuff because I really want to get some room around here for my riding lawnmower parts and I've got I mean I've got Toros I've got Craftsman's I've got Honda's I've got tons and tons of parts and mowers and you know So the ad, I was hoping that I would find a guy, you know, a small engine guy that had room that would come out and make me an offer. Um, that didn't happen. What did happen is I had a bunch of people contacting me asking me if I had any running ones and you know all I could tell them was no they don't run they will run because I have all the parts to make them run you know I just want somebody to come out here and take all this stuff from me anyway like I said never did get the attention of a small engine guy so I figured since there are so many people asking me I'll just go ahead and fix you know a handful of them or something you know and you know the reason I want to get rid of all these is uh, I mean they're fun to work on they're easy to work on I uh, I just make a lot more money on the riding mowers and you know these things are just taking up way too much room around here where I could keep parts and stuff so This is actually a replacement engine that I just put on here because the other one had a bent shaft. Um, so, this is another thing, okay, you never know how much time you're going to have in these. You know, like I spend so much time putting an engine on here and uh, all that, going through the carb. And what am I, what am I going to get for this mower? 50 bucks probably. So, it just, for me it's just not conducive. If I didn't care about money so much, it wouldn't be a big deal. But I do this. I do this kind of stuff for extra money and I just you know 50 bucks just isn't gonna cut it for me if I could do you know 10 of them a day and sell 10 of them a day that'd be one thing doesn't happen that way Disconnect your 
wire, kill wire. Yeah. El Junko. Well, the sky opened up again. It's pouring rain out today. Kill wire, this is the good one. Put your kill wire back up. So what you want to do is put this as, as tight on there as you can and tighten her down. Uh, I'm kidding. Don't want to do that. That's bad. Bad, bad. Don't ever do that. I've seen what happens when people do that. Nothing good happens when people do that. So it's supposed to be 10 thousandths. I did have an old timer show me and even Bruce Penner, a lot of other people do it. Um, just put a, a business card in there. Push up on the flywheel. Kind of tighten your screws down. Spark plug. Put your recoil back on. Ideally, ideally you don't want to put, oops, I do want to put everything back together with your impact. After a while, you kind of know your your strength, but really shouldn't anyway. I'm just doing this because this way because I'm filming, kind of in a hurry. Like I said, not going real tight with them. Then you want to get your, your oil plug in there, or oil tube. Now that's plastic, so better put that in by hand. Like when you're putting this cover on, 
with a carburetor, any of this plastic stuff, I advise you not to use the impact. Um, plastic will warp, screws will go into the plastic. It's not a good deal. You're gonna end up making more work for yourself than anything else. Yeah, I hope this works. It'll be a completely wasted film. You guys wouldn't believe how many times I film and stuff goes wrong. I mean, it used to be that I wouldn't have enough storage space in my phone or something. It would stop it. Um, now it goes black or just for whatever, no reason whatsoever, it'll just freeze and sort of stop. Kind of aggravating, for all I know. It's done it again because I say it in a bunch of videos and I go back to watch and it's all screwed up. So. Yes, that's plastic and I shouldn't have used this, but I didn't put a lot of force on it. Now there's supposed to be a black piece that goes here and unfortunately I do not have that black piece. So it doesn't impede how it works. It just looks nicer with it. Get it down and bring it down there and we'll see. All right, Let's see how it does.
did subside um, blowing out now though. I think the uh, the muffler also had oil in it so because like I said it sat off the machine on its side in the building for uh, probably four years maybe longer um, next weekend or whenever it stops raining actually it's supposed to stop here in an hour or so if it dries up and sun comes out maybe I'll try it and uh, see how it does before I put it up for sale I'll see if she starts again I'm not even going to prime it I think it'll be fine so I mean it runs great either way about it but I'm pretty sure it was just because it sat on its side a long time and I'm pretty sure the muffler had oil in it you kind of see we're spitting it out so pretty sure it had oil in the muffler it was probably another reason why I was smoking a lot so Anyway, guys, she's a runner. So, uh, all right, thanks for joining me. Bye.